Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play Planet Coaster in 3D in VR using the GO11 3D mod. Yes, I know I haven't done a video like this in quite a while and I kind of forgot some things like how to get rid of that green text. If someone knows, let me know in the comments. I can figure that out. I, I totally forgot how to do that. Uh, but this is Planet Coaster, just using the Geo 11 3D mod. I have uh, separation at 20, convergence at 30. And it's side-by-side uh, -side 3D, which I'll upload to YouTube. And the 3D looks pretty good, but keep in mind, there is no specific fix for this game. So uh, it's not going to be perfect. And the biggest issue is the mouse. The mouse is not where you think it'll be. And so you just got to get used to navigating without the mouse being exactly where you see it. Uh, let's go ahead and click play. And let's do our... Uh -oh. Again, um, if, I, if it looks like I'm having trouble navigating with the mouse, it's because it's not aligned correctly. It's not centered correctly. That happens in 3D, and you need a specific fix for the game in order to get it to work properly. Um, if you guys have played UEVR, one of the miracles of the Unreal Engine uh, VR mod by Prey Dog is that it gets so many of these things right for so many games. It, it's an amazing mod, but for GO11, you do have to have a specific fix for each game, uh, which... You know, obviously, when you know that a game has a specific fix, you know it's going to work properly. There's not going to be issues with it. But on the downside, if it doesn't have a fix, then you know it's probably going to have at least a few issues with it. So um, let's go ahead and uh, let's get my uh, this this thing out here. Let's uh, hold on. Let's go to park management. Okay. And let's go to attractions and and shops. And let's go to the We're gonna go to one of these two. <laughs> as soon as I can pick let's go to Expedition Mars first. Before yeah. There we go. Okay. So <laughs> sorry. Uh it is difficult to navigate through the menus and to the UI, especially with this mouse issue. And and also because I, I'm not very familiar with the game itself. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna close we're gonna we're gonna close the ride actually. And we're gonna go to testing. And then we're gonna go ride camera. And that's because this should be closed. Didn't I close it? So it's, it's actually not closed. It might maybe after this one it'll close. But a, as you can see, with when it's not closed, there's actually people on the ride. Not only are they like screaming and whatnot, but you can see like their hands and their hair get in the way. Um, so you don't really want that. Now it's currently, I guess, I, I think it's dusk. So it's getting kind of dark, but... Uh, as soon as the time changes, it'll be brighter and it'll be better to see this all in 3D. But uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised. I thought I closed the ride. Did it not close the ride? Uh, but the 3D looks great. However, I would not recommend trying to create in VR. What I do recommend if you have this game is to make sure that you uh, have your rides ready. Like, you've already created the ride of your dreams, the, the amusement park of your dreams, and you have all your rides ready to go, and then experience them in VR. And that's what the VR is for. And uh, it's a little weird because, uh, you know, this is a great game, but it doesn't really focus on the ride experience itself. Like, there's no mode where you can just get on rides and just enjoy them. Uh, which I think is a big mess. I, I know it's a park management game, but uh, some of the fun of park management is, you know, getting on the rides yourself, experiencing the fruits of your labor. And this game does not make it easy to do that. 
Now, I don't know if maybe now they're starting to test, and that was the last ride that was not tested. L let's see what happens here. We're going to do the ride one more time from start to finish. But I seriously thought it was uh, being tested. So I'm a little confused why it's not, uh, why it wasn't tested last time, because there were still people on the ride, which I didn't want. Because I wanted a clear view. Uh, the 3D actually looks great. Uh... It looks really good. I mean, the 3D strength is is really strong. There, there's a lot of 3D depths here. Um, it's running at a steady. Well, I mean, it's going at 111 FPS. Maybe I should. Well, you know, it's. Well, to be honest, it's it's, it's all over the place. Like it goes anywhere from 90 FPS to 121 FPS. I probably should have tried to uh, lock the. Uh, frames per second to maybe like 120 so it doesn't go all over the place all the time um i don't can you can i i wonder if i could have locked it at 90 that's probably the ideal for this uh but still it, it's running great i mean it, it's usually way above 90 frames per second it's, it's usually 100 frames per second or above yeah now it's under testing mode i was right so as you guys can tell the the ride itself is not very long uh if you can tell the it's it's getting tested and the you know obviously it, it, you feel like a small person when you're in this ride because you know uh the proportion is not quite up to what human size but it still looks really good uh i, I enjoy the rides i just wish it were easier from within the game to get on different rides it, you know it uh, I used the blueprint of somebody else in order to, to get this, but but even then you have to like connect the entrances and whatnot. So you still have to do a little bit of work even when you do that. Uh, I, I wish there was just a way to just play the game. Uh, I have not tried any of the other content other than Sandbox. And, and again, that's because of the UI. You know, with the UI, it can be a little difficult uh, to navigate. And for that reason, I'm just getting on the rides, basically, and that's all I'm doing in 3D in VR, which, you know, it, it, it's a very pleasant ride. I, I, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, keep in mind, this is, uh, again, Geo 11 3D mod. It's completely free. It's open source. If you Google it, you can find out where to download it. If someone knows, like, where you can get the latest version without using Patreon, that would be awesome. But there are old versions out there that are that are free, uh, completely free, completely open source. And uh, I'm using uh, Virtual Desktop, uh, the PC version, the, the Oculus Rift version, actually. Um, that's kind of been, you know, put to the wayside. Now it's more of a streaming app, but this is Virtual Desktop in order to view the side-by-side -side 3d in vr and, and it looks great it, it it looks awesome it's like it's a big giant screen in front of you that's completely 3d so side-by-side -side 3d completely 3d real 3d not fake 3d like you know vorpix does uh for a lot of games uh this is real not uh not not real shade or whatever this is true 3d uh anyways uh let's let's get on another ride i think we've done this one enough right okay let, let's uh let's uh let's let's get out of here and let's go to the other ride so again i'm gonna have to navigate through here which is not easy okay rides no uh park management right park management and now we're gonna go to the jungle drift There we go. Jungle Drift. And again, we're going to close it. If we can. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know if this one matters that much that we close it or not. Let, let's just, let's, you know, let's just get on it. Oh no, we definitely, we definitely want to, you see, this is a problem when the, the people are too close and because there's not a specific 3D fix for that, you get, you're going to get double vision from here. So let me go ahead and let, let's, let's close the ride because we don't want that. Again, when objects are too near, it, it, you are going to get double vision. So we're going to test it and that's how you get rid of the people.
And we're going to go to right camera. And we can do a different view camera here. Let's see. That looks a little bit better, right? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's go cinematic. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I mean, this is a good look. Not that those people are just too close, and you're you're gonna get uh, a. It's just too close, and again, there's not a specific 3D fix for that. That's why it's not rendering like it should, and that's why you'll see this, these double images and whatnot. I also noticed a uh, issue with with the shadows; they're they're not rendering properly exactly. So, again, you need a specific 3D fix in order to fix those issues. Um. It is a pretty slow ride. This isn't too bad, is it? You know, they're a little too close. So, you know, it might be a little eye straining. Uh, but I'm used to it, I guess. Uh, but the visuals are very sharp. Uh, I mean, wow. I mean, this looks great. You know, for being a game that's this old. And how old is this game now? It has to be at least at least six years old right i mean I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is from 2018 maybe i would guess just taking a wild guess i don't really know <laughs> believe it or not today is my first day playing uh this game <laughs> and, and i'm playing it in vr because of course you know i'm a vr person you know planet coaster might be fine might be fine as a non-vr game but I mean, this is this this video is living proof that it should have had VR support because it looks great and it, and it runs great. You know, it's been running good. So, you know, it just needs a couple of fixes for VR, but nothing major. And, you know, do, you don't really need motion controller support. You know, just just get rid of the uh, just make an easier UI for VR. You know, let us use a laser pointer to, to select all those things. <laughs> so, you know, you don't really need that much work into this you know just give us a a view inside the ride in first person in vr and, and let's just let you know for vr they should just let you get on the rides they just have pre-built amusement parks just let you get on the rides and enjoy the rides uh i think this is over i think we're gonna go to the testing phase now Hopefully these people get off pretty soon. Because I want to experience the ride. But not with these people because, you know, again, they're, too, they're just too close to the camera. Uh, you can do stuff to alleviate that. You can push the, uh, the screen further back in uh, virtual desktop in order to help with that. And that does help. But yeah, I just feel like they're too close to the camera and it's just it's just not pleasant in 3D and VR. But we're going to the testing phase now and we're going to be able to get directly behind the camera. So that should be all good now. Okay, so we're going to go to the test. We're inside the ride now and as soon as these people get off we'll be able to uh, do our own ride. But I, I do see a double image right now just because they're so close. But we're going to go to the testing phase now and it should not be a problem anymore. Well, maybe it'll still be a problem. Well, I guess we'll see. We will. We shall see. Uh, but this looks great. I mean, wow. I mean, I wish there was a amusement park experience in VR that looked this good and it's a shame because like i said this game is very old it's very old it wasn't built for, with vr in mind and yet it looks a lot better than most vr amusement park rides and it's running pretty well so uh whatever game engine is it, 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 it's pretty good as far as rendering in 3d uh in vr you know because there's basically two two game windows running at the same time in order to achieve the 3D effect. So, uh, yeah. So, is this really the best? Maybe it's the... Maybe it's this one. This might be the best way to view this. 
what do you guys think it, it's a pretty slow ride but it man the water looks great uh the the trees the all the vegetation the, the rock formations everything everything looks really good in, in 3d uh, I don't notice too many issues, uh, but obviously it needs a specific 3D fix for the mouse and just, you know, when things get too close to you. So you can have a good 3D effect through all distances. Um, but yeah, it looks good. I mean, I mean, the skyline could look a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain. It, look, it looks, I mean, I'd be happy with this in 3D, you know, with, with a f official VR support. This, this would look really good. This be the best looking amusement park ride experience in vr right now if they could just accomplish this <laughs> and it's kind of sad that it's 2024 now and we really don't have this uh come on somebody out there must must uh, we have kayak kayaking experiences that's that's about as good as it gets right now uh but i'd like to have an amusement park experience with you know graphics that actually look good um we really don't have that so you know not there's there's nice ones you know that look nice enough but that look this good no and it's kind of a shame that you know that i'm having to use the G geo 11 3d mod in order to accomplish um, this feat but if you own this game and you know and you're comfortable with uh making your amusement park ride experiences in pancake in 2d mode and like i said i basically just downloaded some blueprints from the steam workshop and just plop the ride they made entrances for it and you gotta test it out too in order to get it to open but doesn't this look really good i mean i'm gonna upload this to youtube again uh side by side 3d i have this on half sps on virtual desktop in order to uh get the best looking for for my setup and yeah no i think it looks great i think it looks really good um, and that's why I'm deciding to do a Geo 11 3D video, even though I haven't done one in a long time, just because I wanted to share this with y'all. Um, forget Vorpex, you know, this is the best 3D in VR for Planet Coaster. And like I said, it's a no-brainer if you already own it to try this out. Now, if you don't own Planet Coaster, would I recommend it? Uh, only if you feel comfortable with the management sims part of this game and dealing with the ui because it, it took me quite a while just to get that so you know I'm, it obviously didn't take me a long time but it took me like about an hour to get get this all set up right to where i wanted so uh but it looks great and i'm happy with my efforts because you know this is this is good uh i i just wish the scales were 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 because were, right now it feels like you're miniature and so I would like to get the scales fixed. I think that'd be the biggest thing as far as making this uh, more immersive because it kind of feels like you're a tiny person. And obviously some of the shadows aren't correct. And like I mentioned, the, the mouse issue. But other than that, I think it looks great. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my uh, Let's Play Planet Coaster in 3D and we are using the Geo 11 3D mod again, completely free. I'm not going to put a link to it because the last time uh, Google tried to say that I was putting malicious links out there. So no more links for me, uh, even though I've never put a malicious link out there or, you know, I'm just linking free stuff. But apparently you can't do that. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So just Google it. Google's your friend. And uh, hopefully you can find it without too many issues. And like I said, I'm using virtual desktop as well to view the 3D side by side in VR. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you try it out. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.